It was a packed house tonight in Rosman to talk about some big changes to the school calendar. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live in Transylvania County. Kim? Larry, parents are interested and concerned, and tonight the board is just starting to review this issue, but if tonight's opinions are any indicator, there is strong opposition. District Superintendent Jeff McDerris first stood at the podium. Tonight's hot topic for discussion. Traditional calendar and a modified calendar. A crowd gathered in Rosman High to speak before the board. We've heard from a number of parents who attended a community meeting last week at Brevard. Tonight's forum was an open one about leaving a traditional schedule and going to a nine-week on, two-week off schedule. Nearly all who came opposed. I am not in favor of the modified calendar. I don't feel that this new calendar would be good for our county, and it would not be good for the residents for that have to work for a living. But I'm just totally, definitely against it. Nearly everyone supporting those speaking in opposition. Personally, for us to change the school calendar year will cost us $5,000 in lawyer fees, travels back and forth to another state to modify visitation process. The superintendent reiterated proof is mixed if modified calendars help students academically. Some say it helps students stay focused. Others say it costs districts more money. Many also consider the fact the county's economy is tourism-based. Many with the schools take summer jobs in the industry. We've got all these people coming in. We have to cater to them. You know, if we don't, they're going to go somewhere else. But Tony Meacham, a principal in the county system, has seen modified calendars help students stay focused. He was the lone supporter tonight. I believe in the modified calendar. I know that's best for children. Uh, and I know that through the experience that I've had working in a modified calendar, how much academic gains we get from kids across all socioeconomic spectrums. Now, there's no strict timeline to make a decision. The school board has through the summer and possibly even longer to make a final decision. They would not implement a change for another two school years. Live in Rosman, Kimberly King, News 13.